Okay, um, another workshop update for everybody. Lovely, glorious, sunny day. Westfield's here. Um, just awaiting collection, actually, from the its new owner. I think he'll be coming in beginning next week. Uh, so it's all been set up. Just had a fresh MOT put on it, so it's 12 months MOT. Um, Flory did all the dials and everything on it you saw in the last video. So, yeah, it'd be a shame to see it go, but uh, on to its new owner, who is going to enjoy it, certainly in weather like this. The RV8's now all finished as well. Driving really nicely, hasn't had any cutting out issues. Um, must have been that ignition module, the standard one, cutting out under a bit of heat. So, uh, as with all of these uh, sort of corrections that we do on these with the ECU chipping and the ignition upgrades, uh, now drives incredibly well, smooth, the engine's free revving, um, pulls through all the gears incredibly smoothly. Uh, if there's time before the customer picks this, picks this up, we'll do a little video of that maybe. And uh, yeah, so that was magna cool leads, spark plugs, did a compression test on the engine as well, everything was fine. Uh, new Bosch coil down there. We did fit a new one just so we knew exactly where we are and the customer's got the original one for uh, for a spare. And the RPI amplifier's mounted, uh, whoop, where are we? Down there. So uh, that's now uh, finished as well. In the workshop, the 50th, uh, I've just put up a photo album of this, but as you can see, it's all uh, coming on really nicely. Uh, I've done quite descriptive pictures, so you, uh, I won't go into this too much on here. But the um, yeah, well, it's, uh, new flexies throughout the brackets, new shock absorbers, new suspension airbags, new bump stops. Uh, the chassis's been done all the way from the back, going along, mind the ramp, don't hit your head, along the chassis, all the way up to the front. Um, pretty much a complete job. Uh, new flexies again at the front. New calipers, discs, pads, uh, shock absorbers, airbags. Uh, this axle, the customer actually sourced from Italy because the front one was not in uh, particularly good condition. New bump stoppers again on the front. So yeah, that's coming on well. Uh, there's the gearbox all cleaned up as well. This is the 4.6 stage 3 going over to Greece, just awaiting for collection, all uh, packaged up. The engine's there and then the box of uh, ignition components and ECU. So, uh, be nice if the customer sends us some pictures of it installed. I'm not sure if he will, but um, some do. Engines being built up. Um, we'll come to that one in a second. This is uh, one of the four liters for the engine test cells. Um, Holly's working on that. This is the next 4.6 stage three engine, which uh, we've just put on the stand here. I think Holly's working on pistons. Yeah, we've got pistons on rods here. So, uh, that's the next one to be built up, but this is the uh, engine that we showed in a video earlier on. These are all of the ancillaries that are now been cleaned up and fit to this engine. As you can see, it's looking lovely. Uh, so this is a 3.9, um, I believe, standard engine. Let me just have a look at the build specification. Uh, yeah, 3.9 standard engine with a Piper Torque Max camshaft, uh, full RPI ignition kit, um, Edelbrock 500 CFM carburetor hiding under that air cleaner there. Um, customer opted not to go for our power plenum, he wanted more of a um, sort of conventional look, I guess. Didn't want the extra torque that it will uh, offer. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see, they come out really, really nicely. Lots of cleaning going on, but uh, you can see there that's our four-wheel drive thermostat housing that we have cast up especially for these uh, applications. So you have the bypass around the thermostat so the engine heats up correctly rather than getting temperature spikes. So um, on to the classic Range Rover then. It's kind of our feature vehicle for this week, I guess. Um, what are you up to down there, Steve? Put some of the wiring out of the way. Okay, mounting a few wires up. Um, do you mind if we do a video on it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's coming on really nicely. It's got to go down to paint for a few bits. Uh, I think if I come around this side, you can see the interior is coming on really, really well. Uh, there was a couple of comments on Facebook about the front door cards, the uh, wood veneer on them. Yep, not perfect. Uh, they can be re-veneered. There's a few companies out there that can do that. So at the moment, we're just trying to get the vehicle kind of more complete 
get the run up and running. Uh, so stop, start, that sort of thing as well. Uh, and then once we're at that stage, you know, we can then do the fine detailing in wood veneer and, uh, you know, if we can source some better parts for certain areas, that sort of thing. But as you can see, it's coming on really, really well. Uh, we've got the headlining to go in yet. Uh, we've recovered the sunroof panel. Um, the headlining just needs recovering at the moment. The boot floor on this we obviously redid when we had the car off the chassis. Um, as most people will know, a Range Rover Classic boot floor is not available, so we used a Discovery one and had a bit in the front. That was documented on our Facebook post at the time. Um, and areas, I think this rear quarter area had a tiny little bit of rust in it so that was cut out and new panels fabricated as well as the bulkhead and things so uh, yeah Steve would you mind taking the yeah. ramp up and we can show underneath this car's actually got a really good tailgate on it as well so um, yeah it's got to go down to paint just to have uh, a few areas resprayed I think actually it'll end up being uh, a larger job than just touching up we'll actually do a, a more thorough job than that so uh, that will be done in a few uh, few weeks time as soon as the SD1 comes back from paint so under here uh, Steve what did we do on the hubs we've got uh, new wheel bearings new discs pads calipers okay yeah uh, springs uh, all brake pipes were renewed new flexes uh, shock absorbers uh, everything's been replaced all the bushes have been replaced prop shaft, okay new cool UJs. yeah so fairly complete on every corner then um, you can see the brake pipes all routed along there as well. As Steve said, caliper pads, discs. Uh, we decided to go for um, drilled and grooved discs. See what they're like. Obviously, uh, for some reason they're noisy. As some people suspect they might be. We can always um, change them out. It's not a big job. And uh, yeah, underneath is is looking good. So uh, moving along as well up the front end. Again, new vented discs. New calipers, pads, um, wheel bearings. We won't take it a bit to show you the wheel bearings, but they have been done. Uh, new flexies, this is what I was showing you guys last time. They've been relocated. Uh, the new spring and shock there, new turret mounts with the securing ring as well. Uh, new body mounts as well. Obviously we had the body off the chassis and uh, new body mounts were done all the way round. Interior, the inner wings, these were all new as well. We found the best in the wings we could get our hands on um, and then uh, corrected anything it needed was correcting. I think there was lots and lots of measuring that went on while we were, were doing that. As you can see, it's an incredibly good job there. Uh, it had new sills, inner sills as well and outers. It was, um, yeah, all done, uh, all done properly. It's all, uh, we actually photographed that entire job. There was several weeks worth of work there. Um, do you want to pop, pop it down again, Steve? We'll just open the bonnet. So all the headlamp boxes were fresh and new as well. Um, so we've got a new radiator. I think that's the air conrad and there it is. Transmission cooler. Would you mind lifting the bonnet? So under here we've got the... Um, it's actually a 4 litre cross-bolted engine. Um, and uh, yeah, so same capacity as a 3.9, just a slightly stronger bottom end. Um, and uh, hot wire fuel injected as this would have been. It's 1992 slash three vehicle, I think, from memory. And uh, Holly's built this engine up. All new brake lines ran along the checked over and repaired bulkhead. I think one of the biggest repairs was behind where those brake pipes are there. But as you can see, it all looks sort of factory. So really nice job in there. Um, we've just got a few wires to sort out in here and uh, get the engine running. That's kind of our next step. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, coming along really nicely. Okay, um, that's kind of today's workshop update, I think. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, do the same again next week. Keep checking back for more info.